Good to see you Outlaw, we're playing Outlaws of the Old West and I wanted to show you my little money machine. You can make at least $100 every 5 minutes. We're playing Outlaws of the Old West, a survival game in western style that I picked up recently. You can build a lot of stuff yourself, but at some point you are going to need some money. To make money you can spend a lot of time crafting and selling stuff, you can go dig for gold, but with the current pricing balance this will not get you anywhere. The most efficient way is still selling horses. Now you will say, well how is that anything new, we know this already, selling horses will get you there, but just wait until you see my little money machine, you can make at least 100 bucks every 5 minutes real fast, real easy. When you start a new game there's a few basics that you need to do. You need to get a lasso so you can start uh, catching horses. You need to dodge the wolves. Um, but once you have a lasso you can catch horses left and right. But then of course you want to sell them and you want to sell them fast. Like said, um, in order to make a lot of money. You don't want to keep those horses, you just want to sell them. I'm coming up here and you can see a horse straight ahead. That is a Mustang horse. That horse spawns here all the time. Exactly in this very place it spawns, it stands there. When you find it, this is the spawning place. And as I go up to it, it'll start running away. Now I'm going to put my horse exactly here. This is the horse spawn point. And just to prove my point, I just restarted the game. Different color, same place. So the horses have a great variation in colors but the spawning point is always in the very same place. Put your horse there. Also you want to set it to stay. Excuse my German setting. So now what you do is you want to build a little fence around it. That is mostly so it doesn't walk away. It'll stay in there. If you're in single player, a single fence will do. Or a simple fence will do, and if you're in multiplayer, and especially in PvP mode, uh, where others will want to steal your horses or also use your money machine, um, you can build a wall around it and just put a door. So I'll make it a bit longer for a reason, because of course I'll have to catch the horse every time. So I'll make this fence around it with ground tiles, hopefully I have enough uh, resources here. Just about enough, and I'll switch to fences quickly. And I'll make fences. And I'm almost done. Fencing built around. Now selling horses, a money machine will need two things. One is constant horse supply, which this spawn, uh, spawn point will do. The other thing is, of course, you need a horse breeder. That is a person that will buy your horses. And in order to get that, what you need is a mailbox that you can build. Also, that's one of your um, basic constructive things. Let me check. Uh, let me show you. You can build this um, if you have boards. And for boards, you need a uh, sawmill. And for sawmill, you need some other parts. But that, all that you can craft, that is not the hard part. The harder part is to get at least 40 bucks. You need an initial $40 in order to buy a horse breeder that you can put here. All right, I'm in my pajamas. This is how you start out the game. Uh, once you have a horse, once you have a bow, look for bandits. This is a bandit place. Clearly you can see the fire from far, oftentimes. And now you have to, you have to fight these guys and of course win the fight. One guy is down. They're actually pretty stupid. Second guy is down. And there goes the third. And you will see you will not only get money, you will also get weapons. 
I got six money, six received money. Another three. And another seven. So I just made 16. And once I have 40 bucks together, I will go and buy my horse breeder. I am back at my home. I go to the mailbox and I buy the horse breeder. 40 bucks I have in the meantime. I'll put it in the inventory. And I will go back and put the horse breeder in the money machine. The easiest will be if you put the horse breeder right in here. I'll also add a little luxury stairs here. And now the game begins. If this is a tight place, I even had this inside a house once. Um, you go into first person mode with, with the V key and then it's easier to catch the horses. You play the little mini game. In the beginning it takes a bit of practicing, I have to admit. But now, change owner, run up to the horse breeder and sell it for 100. And I'm running back to a second place that I have right away. So watch the time, it's 11.20. Few minutes later, 11.40, 45 time progresses fast. Here I happen to have a second money machine. They're just next to each other. This is another um, spawning place. Wow, two misses. <laughs> Second spawning place. This one is a quarter horse. Only it's going to give you 75 bucks. Sell to the horse breeder. 75. Thank you very much. And I can go back to my first place. 12.10 on the clock. And here you go. Guess what? Next horse there, ready to catch. Catch it, sell it, 100 bucks. I think I underestimated the money machine. Actually, you can make a lot more in five minutes than just 100. I could probably make 200 or even 275 with the quarter horse, giving 75, the Mustangs giving 100. And just to round up this little video, this is another character that I have in multiplayer mode. This is the money machine um, here, the very same place as the one I just built. Um, it's the very same place where we found our first horse. This is a wild horse, I could catch it. I even put a little safe here for to put all the money that I make. But to be honest, I didn't even make even more money. Uh, I could if I wanted to, but what's the point? I have all the money I need, I also have guys here who sell me clothes and weapons and whatnot and like you see here I have a wall around it so the enemies won't even know what I'm doing in here now of course if they watch my video they will know um, but they cannot get in here they cannot steal my horses they cannot do anything bad to me if they shoot my horse I capture this one and instead of selling it I just go and jump out here and I have a new horse I couldn't care less if they shoot one I'll just grab the next and as you can see, I built my entire house here. It's fully functional, no windows, no uh, balcony, anything fancy. Just functional home uh, for the multiplayer playing and gaming. And this is it, I have a flat roof so I can shoot at guys and run around and if needed, hide in here. This is the money machine that I have in multiplayer mode. And this is the video, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, stay in touch.